Hi. Today I want you to do some back-to-basics training and look at how you group elements and text in Canva. I'm Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and the Canva Canvasitor. And let's go over to my screen and take a look how you do this. I'm doing this recording because I had a couple of questions on some of my existing videos about grouping from someone who is relatively new to Canva and you'd realize that people don't necessarily know the basics. I've also done a video on how you group elements on the mobile app, and I thought this would actually go with that one. I have this post, and I've added three little Be Your Own Graphic Designer penguins as characters, all celebrating Christmas by drumming their drums. And they're all a bit too large. I can space them out a little more. These come from the elements area, and they are a pro feature, so you would have to pay for them if you want to use these as you would any pro feature, but I will put a link below where you can try pro free for 30 days. And these little be your graphic designer creatures, I'm going to click on. If I click on one and then I hold down at the mouse or my keyboard and then curl down again and I click again, the third one, and you can see it has this dotted line around it. And this dotted line means that it's grouped. And now I'll be offering me the option to group them permanently, or I can leave them as temporarily grouped and move them as they are. And I'm going to click off them because I want to show you another way to group, which can be sometimes a little more awkward, but actually can be very efficient as well. The fantastic thing about grouping your elements is that it means when you move them, they will all stay in proportion. I'm going to hit group this time, and now you can see if I want to ungroup them, I just have to click that. I'm going to go to the corner, and my dotted line is now gone and apparently grouped. And I can just move them together and make them a bit smaller. What I'm going to do is ungroup them now. So I want the one on the right actually to come down a little. I'm going to move him down. He's a little high compared to the others. Well, make sure that his eye isn't being knocked out by the drum stick next to him. And then I want to show you a different way to group. But now I want to pick and group this together just by dragging across, which is another easy way to group things. And I've only got halfway down because I don't want to get the hill effect behind. And if I do go too far, I will get that. So I'm just going to give these. And you can see that's grouped just the penguins now. And again, I can move them around. What I'm also going to do this time, I can still add something to this. I just want to click on this little message at the bottom. And now I've added that in with my penguins. And again, I can move the whole lot. That's just to show you, you can group your text and your images together it doesn't have to be one or the other, and it's a very quick way to move things around and make sure they stay in proportion. I hope that helps, and I'll catch up with you next week.